Hey guys, it's your boy here, I'm with a very special guest. The Mighty, the Mighty Mac Mac James. If you haven't already, go sub to his channel. He does really good Sunland videos, and he's just a bun through and through Sunland support, as am I. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a prediction for the match between Sunland EFC and West Ham. James, we're going over you first. Let's go. Um, one more, and Andy Carroll's score for West Ham, and Conor Wiggins score for Sunland. I would take a draw away to West Ham. West Ham have been on form this season, like it's one of the good seasons. Sam Allardyce seems gone, hasn't he? I think. Oh, I've had Sam Salah. Fuck Sam! It was going to be linked with. It was, well, it was linked with Sunderland. Until Dick. I, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> we're just keeping this in, okay? But we've got a new manager, so hopefully he can turn it around. Personally, I would go with. 2-1 to West Ham, Valencia get 2, and I think that Johnson will score a day. But I hope he does, but... I don't think he will, mate. I hope the fans get behind him, so he's up for it. Right, um... Oh, I have a cold. Right, um... <coughs> are currently 17th in the league. Won four games this season. That's in all competitions. All competitions. That is not good enough. That is not good enough. Well, I'm only going to be at 31. Jesus Christ, that's bad. That is rubbish. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. We deserve to go down with that record. Hopefully, the other could can change it. Your personal view? Do you think it was time for Paul to go? Right time after after a disappointing phone in the way. Yeah. But I but but I'll speak. I I don't want to like go through the time the good time to have with Gus Paul yet. Um, I have done this. I have to like done something like this on my channel, but for subscribers and just to not just see something right now, right? Um, Wembley. Great one, best team in life. Two. Man United away. For the, in the couple of months, I, I was went there, down. Yeah. So was And um, what a, what a moment when they when only see Raphael's penalty. Uh, and when Barkley scored. I cannot believe when Barkley scored and then they're freaking. What what all turning around singing Kiss for us or and then bloody. Oh, he's getting! We turned around and like Chirito was celebrating. I was like so annoyed. Um, but Chelsea away, one nil. That was know. that was a good video, good video, not game. I was just thinking the videos because we don't know. Um, I never went either, but it was the like first time Chelsea got beat at home for a long time, wasn't it? Mhm. Mm and the Mags away, four in a row we've had. We've well, beat the Mags. three times with Gus Poirier, yeah, one with Paulo De Canio. Yeah. Paulo de Canio. Oh, Paulo, Paulo de Canio. That was, de Canio. was class, but... Paulo de Canio. I just... Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Kids watch. Okay. But... Your kids. I don't believe <laughs> Um, right, we've had seven managers in the last six years. I couldn't even go through them one, but we've got... Gus Poyet. Is that including Dick Africa? Dick Africa. Um... Paulo de Canio, Martin O'Neill, Steve Bruce, Roy Keane, Steve Bruce, Steve Bruce. Now, we're not going to be classed as one because he only done it for one game. I think. No, we've had six. <laughs> and then we had, oh, who did they have to? What was he called? Pete Reid. Pete Reid, Seven. Class. Seven managers in the last six years. What are we doing, Sunderland? What is here? What are we doing, though, Sunderland? We can't just be keep changing the system. But the players aren't helping the manager at all, are they? We've been playing appalling in the last season. This season, we've been terrible. Yep. And know what I don't get, right? We can beat Bradford. Know what? Well, I was just about to get on that point, right? We can draw with some good teams at home. United, Tottenham. Never drew with United. Forgot B two one. I don't. Oh, I. I think the last season, me. Well, I don't want to with them, right? We drew with Tottenham, which I thought would get hammered, but right? We draw with the good teams, but when we're playing away to know, Bradford. The pitch was bad, though, but... Aye, but you kind of just. A good player should be able to play on any. Like, I don't think I've got any good players. Professional, aren't they? True. So, like. I know Bradford work get... well, I know Bradford work well on a good cup run. But still, it's cool. Like, on. after beating Chelsea away. Right, come on, it's Bradford, and I just, it's scary though. It's not really scary. 
we've got we've got a new manager in. We've gone on a really bad run. This is Newcastle's best time to play us. Aye. Uh, well, not really. Well, depends how we play. Well, there's an international break. I know. Uh, but. So they it's need to get the I know. And Johnson's returned. So hopefully he gives us a boost. Is Catamon back? Does Catamon miss the mag game? No, he's back for the mag. He'll be up for it. So hopefully Catamon will be up for the mag game. He will. Well, we will be doing a mag review. Yeah. We and are going to be doing a live, like, well, we'll do it. That's a fiscal money. Yeah, can't see it. Would you be like, no, 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 Predictions were all wrong. We will be doing, like, in a, like, a reaction video, not, not like, well, like, a video after the game of what we thought. Yeah. I just can't believe it, me. Can you? Do you mean? Can't believe what? Like, how bad we're doing? But... If you if you are a Sunderland fan, you will understand this. The life of being a Sunderland supporter is up and down like a fucking roller coaster. It's like a roller, roller coaster. Because literally, get in, we're going to Wembley next next game. I mean, we'll beat United in the semi semis. It's class. Next game, beat the Mags yeah. away. Like the next good. You know, we had Wembley. I know we got beat, but it was like the best day of your life, Covent Garden. Unreal. And then, like, you go from Wembley, you play in Hull, you up for it, you're like, come on, let's go to Wembley to again. Ma- uh, for a chance to go back to Wembley. He, he might as well have just played the set or played the reserve team. He actually might have. It was. He played. Um, it was disgusting to watch. The story. Aye. He could easily have to I know. But still, Myla, really? Sunland? It's Stephen Myla. Oh, yeah. He's like the worst player oh, in the Premier League. A few people who are watching this, who so aren't even Sunland fans, probably haven't even heard of him. I know. I'm not dissing him, like, he's, not, he's a good player. I know, I know. But he's just not suitable for them type of circumstances. Exactly. And the, the way he just went out and nutted it, I was so annoyed. Were you there the whole game? I never went. I was annoyed. Um, I went down Bradford, I don't know. I couldn't. I knew we'd get beat. I was up for it. Yeah. The chances are, though, were like, if we did beat Bradford, we could have been. Uh, Redden at home, not Redden. Redden, aye, Redden. Aye. Redden at home, come on. Really? <sighs> so, I know this is a bit of my rant slash... Ever rant. Yeah, prediction. Basically, yeah. Well, come on, we could beat West Ham. We could beat them, James. This ball will be played. Yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. Go and subscribe to the Mighty Mighty James. This has been your boy, and I'll see you when I see you. Peace.